Unit 4. At School A. Schedules 1. Listen and repeat. It's 7 o'clock. It's 4.15. It's a quarter past four. It's 5.25. It's 25 past five. It's 8.30. It's half past eight. It's nine forty. It's twenty to ten. It's one forty five. It's a quarter to two. Three. Listen and write. Complete the schedule, page forty five. Good morning, everybody. There are some small changes to your schedule this Friday and Saturday. Please write the correct subjects and times in your books. On Friday, English is at 7 a.m. as usual. Then, Geography is at 7.50. The next class is Music at 8.40. We start again at 9.40 with Science. And our last lesson of the day is History. On Saturday afternoon, the first class is physical education at 1 o'clock, and the second class is math. We have another period of English at 3.40, and science is at half past 4. Any questions? No? Good. Let's continue with today's class. Five. Listen and read. When do you have English? I have English classes on Wednesday and Thursday. What time do they start? My first English class is on Wednesday at 8.40. On Thursday, I have English at 9.40. What other classes do you have on Thursday? I have math, geography, physical education, and music. What's your favorite subject, too? I like history. It's an interesting and important subject. Yes, I like it too. What's your favorite subject? Oh, math. It's difficult, but fun. 6. Read. Schools in the USA. Schools in the USA are little different from schools in Vietnam. Usually, there is no school uniform. Classes start at 8.30 each morning, and the school day ends at 3.30 or 4 o'clock. There are no lessons on Saturday. Students have one hour for lunch and two 20-minute breaks each day. One break is in the morning. The other is in the afternoon. Students often go to the school cafeteria and buy snacks and drinks at a break or at lunchtime. The most popular after-school activities are baseball, football, and basketball. 7. Play with words. What do I do at school? In literature, I read a book and write about what I read. In home economics, I learn to cook and what our bodies need. In history, I study the past and how the world changes. In geography, I study the world its rivers and mountain ranges. I have several classes every day and learn what, where, and how. What is my favorite class today? The one we are learning now. Unit 4 at school. A. Schedules. 1. Listen and repeat. Page 44. It's 7 o'clock. It's 4.15. It's quarter past 4. It's 5.25. It's 25 past 5. It's 8.30. It's half past 8. It's 9.40. It's 20 to 10. It's 1.45.
It's quarter to two. Now practice saying the time with a partner. What time is it? It's seven o'clock. Three. Listen and write. Complete the schedule. Good morning, everybody. There are some small changes to your schedule this Friday and Saturday. Please write the correct subjects and times in your books. On Friday, English is at 7 a.m. as usual. Then geography is at 7.50. The next class is music at 8.40. We start again at 9.40 with physics. And our last lesson of the day is history. On Saturday afternoon, the first class is physical education at one o'clock. And the second class is math. We have another period of English at 3.40. And physics is at half past four. Any questions? No? Good. Let's continue with today's class. Five. Listen and read. Page 46. When do you have English? I have English classes on Wednesday and Thursday. What time are they? My first English class is on Wednesday at 8.40. On Thursday I have English at 9.40. What other classes do you have on Friday? I have math, geography, physical education and music. What is your favorite subject, Who? I like history. It's an interesting and important subject. Yes, I like it too. What is your favorite subject? Oh, math. It's difficult but fun. Write your schedule in your exercise book. Then ask and answer questions about your schedule with a partner. Six. Read. Pages 46 and 47. Schools in the USA. Schools in the USA are a little different from schools in Vietnam. Usually, there is no school uniform. Classes start at 8.30 each morning, and the school day ends at 3.30 or 4 o'clock. There are no lessons on Saturday. Students have one hour for lunch, and two 20-minute breaks each day. One break is in the morning, the other is in the afternoon. Students often go to the school cafeteria and buy snacks and drinks at lunchtime or at break. The most popular after-school activities are baseball, football, and basketball. Questions, true or false? Check the boxes. A. Students do not usually wear school uniform. B. There are classes on Saturday morning. C. Students don't have a break in the afternoon. D. The school cafeteria sells food to students. E. The school cafeteria only opens at lunchtime. F. Basketball is an unpopular after-school activity. 7. Play with words. Page 47. What do I do at school? In literature, I read a book and write about what I read. In home economics, I learn to cook and what our bodies need. In history, I study the past and how the world changes. In geography, I study the world, its rivers and mountain ranges. I have several classes every day and learn what, where, and how. What is my favorite class today? The one we are learning now. B. The Library 1. Look at this plan of the library. Listen and repeat. Pages 49 and 50. 
as you can see, this is our library and those are our books. These racks have magazines and those have newspapers. How do we find a book, please? You look in the card index. These cards show the subject. They are in alphabetical order. By title or by author? There are two sets of cards. One is authors and the other is titles. It's easy to find a book with either the author or the title. These shelves on the left have math and science books, chemistry, physics and biology. Those shelves on the right have history and geography books, dictionaries and literature in Vietnamese. Are there any English books? Yes, those books at the back of the library are in English. They are readers, novels, reference books and dictionaries. Two, listen, then practice with a partner. Page 51. Good morning. Good morning. Can I help you? Yes, where can I find the math books, please? They're on the shelves on the left. Do you have magazines and newspapers here? Yes, they're on the racks in the corner on the right. Thank you very much. You are welcome. Now ask and answer questions about the library plan in B1. Okay, everyone, are you ready? Let's tidy the library. Now, Ba, could you put all the English books on the shelves behind the librarian's desk, please? Yes, sir. Where shall I put the science book, Mr. Tang? Oh, they will go on the bookshelf next to the study area. Please put the math books on that shelf too. Let's keep the math and science books together next to the study area. Okay. I have some history books. Where do you want them? Put them with the geography books. They are on the shelf next to the science books. And how about these magazines and newspapers? Oh, they can go on the racks in the center of the room. In the center of the room? Fine. Do you all know what to do? Does anyone have any questions? No? Okay. Let's begin. 4. Read, then answer, page 52. One of the world's largest libraries is the United States Library of Congress. It is in Washington, D.C., the capital of the USA. It receives copies of all American books. It contains over 100 million books. It has about 1,000 kilometers of shelves. It has over 5,000 employees. Questions? A. Where is the Library of Congress? B. Why is it so large? C. How many books does it have? D. How long are its shelves? E. How many people work there? 5. Play with words, page 53. In the library. When I go to the library and take a book from a shelf, I sit and read about wonderful things, and then I forget myself. A window opens on the world. I ride a rocket in space. I have great adventures and never leave my place. B. The Library. 1. Listen and read. As you can see, this is our library, and those are our books. These racks have magazines, and those have newspapers. These shelves on the left have math and science books, chemistry, physics, and biology. Those on the shelves on the right have history and geography books. Dictionaries and literature in Vietnamese. Are there any English books? Yes. Those books at the back of the library are in English. There are readers, novels, reference books, and dictionaries. Okay, now follow me into the video room next door. 2. Listen. Then practice with a partner. Good morning. Good morning. Can I help you? Yes, where can I find the math books, please? 
They're on the shelves on the left. Do you have magazines and newspapers here? Yes, they're on the racks in the middle. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Three. Listen. Where are they? Label the shelves and racks in your exercise book. Okay, everyone. Are you ready? Let's tidy the library. Now, Ba, could you put all the English books on the shelves behind the librarian's desk, please? Yes, sir. Where shall I put the science books, Mr. Thun? Oh, they will go on the bookshelf next to the study area. Please put the math books on that shelf, too. Let's keep the math and science books together next to the study area. Okay. I have some history books. Where do you want them? Put them with the geography books. They are on the shelf next to the science books. And how about these magazines and newspapers? Oh, they can go on the racks in the center of the room. In the center of the room? Fine. Do you all know what to do? Does anyone have any questions? No? Okay, let's begin. 4. Read, then answer. One of the world's largest libraries is the United States Library of Congress. It is in Washington, D.C., the capital of the USA. It receives copies of all American books. It contains over 100 million books. It has about 1,000 kilometer of shelves. It has over 5,000 employees. 5. Play with words. In the library. When I go to the library and take a book from a shelf, I sit and read about wonderful things, and then I forget myself. A window opens on the world. I ride a rocket in space. I have great adventures and never leave my place. Mm -hmm.